Hola, estoy aquí con Marta y Jack, que forman parte de nuestro equipo en inglés y estamos hablando sobre pronunciación, cómo pronunciar, pronunciar ciertas palabras en inglés. Y me están explicando algo tan interesante que hemos decidido grabar esto porque creo que a vosotros también os va a interesar uh, lo que ellos dicen. Eh, ¿Por qué es tan difícil entender a las personas que normalmente son castellano o catalán parlantes uh, cuando hablan inglés? ¿Qué pasa? So I think it's because in, in English we have a few different sounds that aren't there in the Spanish language in Castellano. So because of those differences in the pronunciation, when the Spanish speakers are learning English, there are some mistakes that they commonly make, and we have a few examples, right? Yeah, like um, H, for example. It's a lot softer in English, and um, Spanish people, Catalan people, tend to pronounce it very strongly, like hello, mm -hmm. how are you, mm -hmm. yeah, instead of hello. Yeah. So, for example, what they could do, imagine if they've got their glasses and you're going to clean your glasses. That's the sound really that we're looking for in English, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a lot softer. A lot softer. So, I think there's also like S sound at the mm -hmm. beginning of a word. I don't know if you... Oh, know. yeah. So, for example, like rather than stop in English, they might say S stop. Yes, yeah. Yeah, or um, I am Spanish or I am Spanish. Right. Yeah. So also I think that's because in English we can have words that start with s or st or sk. But in Spanish that's not the case. They no. always have the, the e before. So when they're learning they, are, they have to remember that we can have those words where hmm. the sp sp can start as words. Yeah, can you think of any others? Other words? Um, oh, sound-wise there's the... Um, difference between e and e, so that's mm. quite a common one for the Spanish speakers, isn't it? Have you heard that? Before? Yeah, it's difficult though. Mm. So I think that's because in Spanish they have the e vowel, but not e. So we have words like this, and they might say these, yeah. which sounds like a different word. Or yeah, and I think another very complicated um, thing is a group of words which get easily confused. And that would be bird, mm -hmm. beard, yeah. bear, and beer. Yeah, I've heard that too before. Um, one example that I use with some of my students is I, I tell them that if they think of ear, beard, because they're the same sound, and also the beer that you drink. So yeah. beer and beard are both close to the ear. So that's one way that they can remember. That's a good one. Yeah, thanks. No sé si esto. Es beer, bird, beer, web. Contad que ahora en Tokio Terapia tenemos un equipo en inglés.